<laughs> well, hello! This is the Gimp Girl once again. I was just sweeping, arranging the bed. But let me put away this broom and we will talk about today's topic. There we go. That's better. I have so many covers and things to arrange here. So, what do you think we're talking about today, huh? What do you think we're talking about? How this phone camera handles high contrast light? Hmm, it doesn't handle it very well, does it? <laughs> okay, I really should have had a light stand. Uh, but okay, we'll try to do without. Okay, so today we are talking about trad LARPing. Trad LARPing! So, I have a little love gift for my man. I'll open that first. And then we will talk about trad LARPing. Yeah, that's right. I think this is a topic that is of interest to you. I decided to make this into a series, actually, so it will be Gimp Girl's new series on Tradlarp. Let's see what's inside. So it is a small love gift today. I love when they're packing these bags. Yeah. A small love gift. This is a Voigtlander color scoper. Color scoper? Yes, it's the color scoper. All right. Okay, very cute little lens for the Voigtlander prominent camera. All right, let's uh, put the little love gift aside. Do you think that if the love gift is small, there is less love emanating from it? Now it has to do with how expensive the gift is, perhaps. All right, we'll, we'll discuss gifts at a different time. I will make more videos on gifts because I I love the topic of gifts, giving your man uh, gifts. Okay, so uh, let's take a look. See, I have quite a bit to cover. Uh, we're talking about trad LARPing. So first I will tell you about this uh, series. Uh, what it's about, I have a long, long disclaimer, uh, and then uh, we will get into the actual practicalities of trad LARPing, and I'm going to be more specific about it. This will be very specific, not just generalized stuff. I will give you details. Uh, so uh, after I'm through with the disclaimer, I will be discussing how to headscarf so we'll be talking about the headscarf okay but first and foremost um i have to tell you uh, a few things before getting into the actual practicalities okay and uh, the first thing you need to know is that trad um, is dead and it will not be coming back so uh, you're not going to get a trad man you're not going to get the trad lifestyle. So, uh, if you plan to trad LARP, like LARP as a trad girl, uh, then its only purpose is to rile up other women. Okay? So, it's not really to uh, get a man or a lifestyle. Okay? So, uh, this is uh, obviously for women. It's it's not for, for men, the, the trad LARPing. I, I mean, in the sense that women will react to it, men can care less. Um, there is no trad man that's going to be convinced by your trad LARPing. What the hell is this anyway? Is that like a bone or something? It looks weird on the, on the video. Uh, oh well. Uh, also, do not think that if I trad LARP, I can, let's see, not work anymore, that will not happen, not put out, not have to diet, not have to uh, go to the gym, 
uh, not have to pay for things. And finally, if I try LARP, I can have monogamy, a monogamous marriage. Uh, this will not happen because you tried LARP. Okay. So if this is your agenda, if you're looking for one or several of these things, then this video is uh, not for you. And uh, in reality, nothing will really get you there. Um, so, uh, let me tell you a bit about how it was when Gimp Girl was young. Well, the old Gimper was young back in the days. This was a long time ago. Uh, then, uh, trad LARPing could get you all of these things that I have mentioned. Okay, so you, you could, for instance, not, not have to work and stuff like that. Uh, but nowadays, you will not be getting that, you will mostly attract weirdos. Oh no, not the weirdos. Okay, I'll tell you more, more about the, the weirdos when I get into the actual trad LARPing. Mm. Okay. Um, when you trad LARPs back in my days, <laughs> in my days, you youngsters, yeah, when you trad LARP back in my days, then it would really, really, really rile up other women uh, who were not into trad themselves, which was like 99.9% .9 of women. It would really, really uh, rile uh, them up like there was no tomorrow. And, um, okay, if you're looking for an actual trad man, well, count on not getting one. Um, because the actual trad man, they are looking from a virgin, from a good family, and possibly there's a dowry involved somewhere of a couple of goats. Um, so basically, you will not get a trad man. If you're not any of these things, um, if you're 18 to 19 plus, not a virgin, um, you're not part of an ethnic or religious community or a subculture, then uh, you, you're never an option for, uh, for trad men to begin with. And anyone who tells you that you can be 20 plus and uh, not a virgin and you can still have a trad marriage, they're either delusional or they are just lying to you. Yeah, so, um, uh, forget the actual trad, we're talking about trad LARP here, uh, forget actual trad, unless you, like, grew up with it, it's never going to happen for you, actual trad will not happen, but by trad LARPing, you can have a slice of trad, uh, and, uh, yeah, you can rile up other women, uh, as I said, I'll talk more about that, uh, and you can pretend to be trad without really knowing what you're doing. Alright. <clears throat> now, remember kids, actual trad women uh, are, don't, are not supposed to leave the home. They don't leave the home. Okay, if they do have to leave the home for some reason, it is always uh, with a male relative. Okay. You, however, you uh, can run into other trad larpers, can meet other trad larpers, and you you can like get along because you both know what's going on here. Are you trad larping? Yeah, I'm trad larping too. Yeah, let's let's trad larp. Yeah. Uh, so uh, actual trad women, they will be like only around their male relatives. So you you'll probably never even meet them, even if you are trad larping uh, woman. So, we actual trad women uh, laugh at trad larpers and we think that they're delusional. Like, you trad larp and then you're gonna get a trad life or trad man, whatever. Uh, it's not going to happen. So, that's, that's actually pretty ridiculous to us. Yeah, now, don't let this discourage you. However, um, a trad larping can be fun. Uh, it can be rewarding. And, uh, yes, Gimp Girl, you should stop rambling. I know that's what you're gonna get. So now stop rambling already and get to the point. How to wear a headscarf. Show us how to headscarf already. I, I saw some woman on the internet wore a uh, headscarf. She started to headscarf. I don't remember where because I was it was early morning. I was half asleep. 
Um, not anyway, so about thread larping by wearing a headscarf. Okay, first of all, uh, what is uh, the purpose of the headscarf? Okay, you could say the headscarf is really uh, the first step to wearing the face veil, which is the real uh, covering. Because uh, when you cover, it's not just about what you wear on, on your head. This isn't really like a, a, a hat, a head ornament that you just put on your head and then people become upset over it. It has to do with having an entire covering. Um, but I'm not going to go through that today. Okay, not going to be doing that. Um, the second thing you need to realize is that there's nothing exciting or taboo about wearing a headscarf. Okay, it, it is just a piece of clothing. And as far as trad goes, headscarves, they're kind of considered vanilla. They're for vanilla trads, let's, let's put it that way. Uh, but it, it will still upset like normie women. When they see it, they, they will be upset. You wear something on your head, yeah, they, 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 they will be upset. Okay, and if you are a zoomette, you're a female zoomer, then uh, you can do it for TikTok clout if you want to become famous on TikTok. I, I would certainly recommend it because people uh, do react to this stuff. I'm sure you'll get a lot of views. You can start a trend like your TikTok name could be that headscarf girl. You know, hashtag uh, the headscarf life or something like that. You're, you're better at TikToking than I am. I don't do that stuff. Okay, the other purpose of the headscarf is that you're you're saying something with it, right? You're not just putting it on your head. And what you're saying with it is that you submit to a man. Okay, you are a woman who submits to a man. You are ready to obey a man. And that, that's really what upsets other women. It, it's not the, the garment in itself. It's what it's saying. Okay, now... Since you're just a LARPer, you don't actually need to have a man uh, in order to do this. You need to say, submit to my man. It's just showing you what, what kind of woman you are, that you would obey a man. You, you would submit. And this will, this will really rile up older women. Like The older they are, the more riled up they will be uh, over headscarves. If, if they're really old, they'll be like, oh my god, this is so old-fashioned. Not modern. <laughs> Right, you probably have no idea what that means. Okay, let's get into the actual uh, practicalities. Okay, uh, so usually the headscarf uh, would be worn with a basic trad outfit of um, like a blouse, long sleeve blouse, a long skirt, but it, it can also be worn independently. Remember, you're just a LARPer after all. Okay, so Let's get the actual headscarves. I have a couple of them here. Uh, now it's winter, it's really cold outside. So for the winter, you will want a scarf made out of wool. I haven't seen any other like warm scarves made out of other materials than, than wool. Um, so you live in a cold climate, you'll need a wool one. Okay, and this is a wool scarf. It's a Russian scarf. Uh, handmade and everything so uh how you wear this thing how do you wear it gimp girl i don't know i i don't understand no no not like that you you won't see anything no 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 not not, not like that miss zoomer not like that okay i will show you okay so you have the headscarf Let's see if I can fit it in the frame. Okay, here we go. Here's the printed side. Okay, when you wear it like outwards, the side that people see. Okay, and what you do is that you, you fold it into a triangle. Fold it in half to have a triangle. Okay, you learned the shapes, right? In first grade, I hope. You learned the shapes, everyone. Okay, this is a triangle. Okay, so you fold it in half, so it forms a triangle. And uh, if, if you feel that your scarf is a little bit too small, then you can actually just kind of 
pull up one side of the triangle. Let's take a look, see. So it looks like this. Like when you put it on, it becomes a little bigger scarf. I can't do that. Okay, then there's really only one sensible way to tie a thick scarf like this. That is to put it over your head. Then just tie the ends right under your chin. Okay, so this, it looks pretty good. It also works as a scarf around your neck. You put a jacket on, keeps your neck warm, if it's long enough. So that's really the only way of tying it. You can double tie it to keep it secure, but uh, with, with a wool scarf, you get a really big knot that way. And if you feel that these things are in your way, you can't quite see anything, you can also fold it in like this. And this way you tend to look a little bit uglier, but but that's okay, because you're still wearing a headscarf. Okay, so um, that's the headscarf. Now, uh, if it's super cold, you live in a super cold climate, then a wool scarf is not enough. And what I do is that I use a little under hat. It's like a sports hat for like runners or something. You can buy it on a nice sports store. You can put it underneath your headscarf. Then you put the headscarf on top of it and that way you stay warm. You can still fold it in if you like. There, so. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Okay, so this, this will keep you warm. Okay, now if um, you have a warmer climate or it's summer, then uh, you use a thinner scarf. <laughs> I think I have wool in my mouth now. Okay, so you use a thinner scarf, something like this. Um, it can be silk or it can be synthetic, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the silk is more luxurious, the synthetic is a bit more sturdy in my opinion. Um, so I actually use the synthetic quite a bit more than um, the silk ones. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Once again, you fold it into a triangle. And here you have more ways of tying it actually. So you can tie it right under your chin. Okay, these ones are quite flimsy. I'd recommend a double knot under your chin or if you want to keep it really secure you also tie it once under your chin and then take it around your neck and tie it behind your neck usually in a double knot to keep it secure okay so it's a bit of a grace kelly look so however you like uh, i know there are some people that also like to tie them like be behind the head like this. So that that's also possible. Okay, so that's what that looks like. When you buy a scarf, make sure that it's big enough. Because sometimes you buy a scarf and it turns out to be too small. You fold it. And this one's silk, by the way. So what silk looks like. It's quite flimsy. Quite flimsy, actually. You fold it and then you realize ah, it's too small. Yeah, so you can still tie it, but it looks kind of ridiculous. So make sure to get a big scarf. Yeah, I forgot to mention that you can also get branded scarves. Uh, if, if you're into brands and like and lux, you're into lux, you're a bit of a lux girl, but you still want to wear a scarf. Okay, so yeah, you can get branded stuff. This is an Hermes scarf, um, but it's not really worth it, to be honest with you. Um, they're quite expensive and just not uh, worth the money. Uh, you'll be spending quite a bit of time uh, figuring out, um, you know, like the whether it's a, it's a fake or not, so you gotta make sure that it is a real one. So don't just buy one, do your research. Okay, 
Um, but as I said, not quite worth the money because, yeah, the print is a bit nicer. It, it is, I'll give you that. Uh, the colors are actually quite a bit nicer, but it's it's quite flimsy. Like it's it's not sturdier um, than a, a regular, for instance, synthetic scarf. This one is in fact uh, sturdier. It's not branded. It's just synthetic, and uh, it's quite a bit sturdier than the May scarf. So let's just fold it and see what it what it looks like. Do I look like a luxe girl with it? Do I look like a luxe girl? Let's figure out. Is it a luxe gimp? Yeah, let me know. Yeah, you can also wear it like this if you're cold. It's actually quite useful. Uh, when I was a kid, then women used to wear their scarves around their necks right, like this. But that, that has nothing to do with tra trad, it was just a fashion trend at the time. Um, okay, what else was I going to say about uh, the headscarf? See, so if you uh, go somewhere, you're at any kind of indoor event, uh, you're visiting someone, going to a restaurant, a mall, do you keep the scarf on or do you take it off? What to do with it. Okay, I tend to actually keep my scarf on wherever I go. Yeah, even if I happen to have this, this warm one, like it's cold outside, I'm uh, really wrapped up in my cozy scarf, and then I go indoors and it's kind of warm. I think to myself, I should have taken a thinner scarf, but I still keep it on, uh, mostly because it's practical, because I, I don't want to retie it one more time. It's just practical. So um, I tend to keep it on uh, wherever I go. When I'm outside the house, I just keep it on. I, I don't take it off. So that's practical for me. Let me know what you think about that, trad larpers. Would you keep it on or would you take it off? Okay. Um, so what can you expect when you put this on, you go outside or go on TikTok if you're a Zoomer, you know, go outside here. You go on social media. Okay, well, you will get reactions mostly from other women. Okay, and uh, th this is based on my experience, what uh, the, what I get. Uh, there will be women that will say stuff like, "You're a slave to a man." It'll be like really crazy stuff, actually. Like, you're you're a slave to men. You just want to serve men. This. It's a sign of of slavery. <laughs> it's a sign of the patriarchy. It is keeping you down. <laughs> um, yeah, so you'll hear all sorts of crazy stuff from, from women. Like especially women who are older. I don't think young women really understand this. They they think it's like some statement or fashion accessory, but like older women, say 30 and up, yeah, they're they're going to give you a hard time. They're going to say all sorts of crazy stuff. And a lot of them will say that you look stupid. Ugh, you look so stupid. You look ugly in the scarf. Like you, you, you look like an old lady. So you, you're gonna get that. And then uh, they're going to be like creepy uh, old men who will be, I don't know, creepy about it. Oh, you, you wear a headscarf. I see. Does that mean that you are very innocent? Mm. Let me know more and I'll go like real close to you. Oh, well, that's a, that's a very nice headscarf. You know that you don't have to wear it. No, I, I don't think women should be oppressed. You can just take it off. So you, you get that kind of creepiness. Yeah, and uh, finally, uh, try it out. If you like it, if if you it's you, then adopt the lifestyle and wear a headscarf. Right, I hope you like my trad larping series. I'll be making more videos where I go in depth into trad larping.
This is Gimp Girl. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye!